Jonathan, let's talk about different categories of buyers. Say, if I'm a first home buyer or a second home buyer or investor, so one of the how much lending deposit, criteria what is the percentage bank of deposit I need to produce from the right Bank now to and be it's able to loan borrow value ratios, the LVRs. You'll hear your mortgage advisor talk about LVRs. For an investor, 30% on an existing property is the minimum deposit you can have. That can come out of equity in, your, in another house, or it can come as hard cash. For a, a home buyer, someone who's going to live in the, in the property, it's 20% deposit. However, if you're buying a brand new property, an investor can get away with 20% deposit. I call 20% the magic deposit number. And I'll explain that more in a second. but. Because you can get away with 10% deposit as a, as a home purchaser. You can get away with even 5% deposit, but that needs to be with your main bank. Very, very few loans get out with 5% deposit. 10's not too, not too uncommon these days. 10, 15, 20. 20 is the magic number. And 20 is the magic number because at 20% deposit, the bank rolls out the best rates and we can get you the maximum cash contribution given back to you as well. When you have less than 20% deposit, they always want a registered valuation. So there are some, some gotchas in there when you don't have 20% deposit. When, again, when you're below 20%, they'll either add a fee that you have to pay on the loan, on top of the loan, or they will add a margin to the interest rate. So all those great interest rates you might see that are advertised come to us and we'll give you, for at the moment, 3.55 for one year. Um, that's only when you've got 20% deposit. There's always a little bit of fine print at the bottom. So when you have less than 20%, your rate is always going to be higher. Still a great rate today, but you're going to be paying more. So 20% is your magic number. Excellent. Thank you, Jonathan. And I'm sure when people will come to you asking for your service, you will explain them the ways how they can, you know, um, get away with a small deposit if there is a possibility for it. You give them a few tips on Absolutely. On there, right? And sometimes, Andre, it's, it's good to go for a non-bank just to get the deal done, to get over the line, to get to where you want to go, and then after a few months we move you back into a main bank. But non-bank lenders have a slightly less stricter criteria at times, and you can often get a deal done that way and then go back into a bank. Excellent. Thank you so much, Jonathan. You're welcome.